Awesome. We are recording, and this is supposed to be a lecture for our people and our community talking about what it takes to make a good video and understanding the platform of making videos on both YouTube and TikTok specifically. I'm sure some of these principles can apply to other platforms that take video, but the most prominent two platforms would be TikTok and YouTube when it comes to VODs on demand, videos on demand. Okay. So, today's topics. Um, I wanted to go over a few things, but first, I want to say thanks to everyone that's here. It makes doing lectures a lot easier when there's people to listen to what we have to talk about. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, just chime in, ask a question, okay? Um, but we also want to try and stay on track, too. So, I think most of the questions will just be mostly at the end. All right, now keep in mind, this will go on YouTube, okay? Okay. Um, so here's what we're covering. We're going to talk about the YouTube algorithm. We're going to talk about the TikTok algorithm, what we know about it, uh, developing videos to suit algorithms, idea conception. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about editing software, search engine optimization. That's a really important one. Thumbnails and titles and what makes a good video and a bad video. You know, what's, what's a good, what's bad. Just going to talk a little bit about those things, not necessarily in those orders. Um, so, I'm I'm also sharing my screen. We're gonna I'm gonna show you guys some stuff um, as we go through these topics. So let's talk a little bit about the. Let's just start right off with the good one, the YouTube algorithm. Everyone wants to know about the YouTube algorithm. So the YouTube algorithm is really interesting um, because it's to everyone. It seems like what makes the YouTube algorithm is like the way everyone looks at it and tries to under like. Tries to, uh, uh, like, understand it, right? And I think the big problem that a lot of people have when they're looking at the YouTube algorithm is they overcomplicate it. So uh, the 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 thing about all the all these things is that everything is actually a lot more simple than you think, and um, overcomplicating it is actually what causes people to screw this up. So at the very core. What I understand about the YouTube algorithm, looking at any of my videos, like, let me look at this. Um, this one didn't do all that great. This, this one did okay. Let me look at this video's uh, stats here. So I released, this is, I think, the, late, the last video I've released, and it did all right. It got about 4,000 views, and uh, there's a bunch of stats here that I, I'm going to use to explain the algorithm, okay? So the algorithm is all about clickability. So uh, that's going to be your CTR, your click-through rate. So this video had a really good click-through rate. It got 16.4 thousand impressions. That means that um, if you look at my screen, when you're scrolling through YouTube and there's thumbnails showing up, if you scroll past one, that's an impression, okay? So my video got 16.4 thousand impressions and, and it has a 22% click-through rate, CTR. And that's actually really good. That's a good CTR. Average CTR is between one and five percent, somewhere around there, or or is it three and five percent? I don't I don't remember the exact numbers on that. Okay, but it's somewhere between one and five percent or three and five percent. Like that's that's going to be about average. I'm going to mute my uh, Discord notifications real quick. Bam, hotkeys for the win. Um, shift, shift. That's what I set mine to. Hold down both shifts. Streamer mode enabled or disabled. Love it. Anyways, uh. So what I did with this video is I kept it really short. The other thing, so it's your title and your thumbnail. That's how you get a click. When you're looking through videos, it's more, it's more important than the actual video itself in a lot of ways, arguably, okay? Because like without the click, there is nobody watching the video. So you got to get them to click. So the art of a thumbnail and a good title is super important. There's a, there's a few ways people are going to find your video on YouTube. One is because it's just being recommended to them by YouTube, right? Like if your video is getting recommended in this space, you're doing really well. Uh, another way is if you're searching for something. So uh, what is this video title again? I can't remember. Um, hold on. Let me take a look at it. Spring Breaker Escapes Cop Car. I'm going to search this. and I'm just going to try and find my video. And there I am right at the top. Look at that. All right. Now, let's look at all the competition. A bunch of other people made videos on this, right? And um, this one's a pretty good one. I like this thumbnail because it's like simple and zoomed in, you know? 
or this one has like an arrow pointing at it. These ones are kind of lazy. Um, like, like it's, uh, like it's just, this one doesn't have a, th a thumbnail at all. They just picked a random one. Same thing with this one. This one has like, it's like, it is same thing. It's like a, just a screenshot. They just picked like the one that's generated. And then I, I put like, I wanted to make mine look super dramatic, you know? Um, and I, so I, I made sure I like zoomed in on these frames and then like blew them up, put them side by side. And I had an original one. Actually, it had it was four frames. So it was like four TikTok size like frames going into the thumbnail. And after I was watching the CTR and it was going down. I was watching it in real time right after I uploaded it. And I was looking at this and, and this graph started kind of like leveling out. I'm like, what the hell? It was like somewhere like right here or something. And uh, so I, I, I looked at the thumbnail and uh, I've already learned that you can update your thumbnail at any time and it's not going to hurt your video. I used to think like, oh, that'll just like reset everything. But no, YouTube will just take the new thumbnail and start putting it out there. And if it's better, then it'll do better. So you can update your thumbnail. You can have, you know, it's not like so set in stone. So I updated it and focused just on two of the frames so I can zoom in on the on the action that's happening here. And it's just, it's super compelling. So you want to, you, you want to make sure that your, uh, your thumbnails are on point and it takes a lot of practice. I've made a lot of thumbnails. Let me see if I can just go straight to my channel here. Look at my, a bunch of thumbnails from the past. I'm going to review like, like my thumbnails lately have been really good because I'm trying to zoom in on the things and just keep it simple. You know, I've done thumbnails where there's too much shit going on and it makes it all, uh, hard to see. So like, let me go back to the past here and like me trying to do a bunch of thumbnails and yeah they're not really like capturing like anything good you know and like and also the way these videos were designed weren't very like it, it it's not like the way i'm approaching things now there now i'm starting to upgrade my thumbnails here's the feed this is when i launched the feed i've made a lot of these now so the feed's doing really well for me um this was a good thumbnail. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, thumbnails, very important. And let's see, let's go back to the algorithm. So the algorithm is going to determine if that your video is good based off of how clicky it is. I keep talking about the thumbnail and the title and the click is the first part of all of this. Okay. And um, the other part is watch time. So how much of the video are they watching? So my video is about two minutes long and the average view duration is about one minute. So they watch about half the video before they turn it off, which is actually really good. That's 50%. It, uh, it's hard to reach 50%. Usually for me, I'm, I'm losing people at like 30 or 40%. So to, to get a 50% watch time uh, is really good. I think that maybe this, this video being a little bit shorter gave me more of a chance to get a higher watch time. But the way the algorithm works to simplify it is if your thumbnail and title combo is clicky when it when there's impressions and there's good watch time, they will recommend your video. Now, if my watch time was like 60% or more, now we're really going to start getting recommended and you're going to make more money on your video. Because watch time not only tells YouTube that it's a good video, but it tells YouTube that it's a good video to advertise on. So that's the, that's like the a little bit longer way of explaining the, the YouTube algorithm. It's all about making a video that people want to click on when they see it and they watch it, uh, you know, all the way through. If you can get them to watch the video all the way through to the end, then you then YouTube is going to reward you with recommend, recommending your video. Like it's not a person that decides this. It's an algorithm. It's AI. So all you got to do is just hit the metrics that the AI is looking for and it'll promote your videos. That's how it works. Um on my second channel, I uploaded a video of uh Wendy Williams. Actually, I should go to my second channel. Let me see if I can do this here. Go to my sec I she she burped and farted at the same time. And I made a feed video about this subject. And then I also uploaded the raw footage of it to my second channel. Let me go into my content here and find it. And it did really well. Uh, a lot a lot better than I expected. It got 177,000 views. And then so I was looking at the stats on this. 
and it was really interesting. The watch time, uh, see, the video is seven seconds long, but the average view duration is 12 seconds. Isn't that weird? How do they watch it for 12 seconds if the video is only seven seconds? Because YouTube's measuring them watching it again. So if you have a video that plays out and then it they watch it again, now you're doubling, now you're you're exceeding like that hundred percent isn't the limit. The sky's the limit with how much watch time you get. So if you get people to watch your video over again, like a second time, because it was so good. Now, short videos that are seven seconds are way easier to pull that off. Um, and now we're about to start getting into the TikTok algorithm. All right, because this is how TikTok works. So this is like a, a TikTok-esque video. Uh th this click through rate is 37.9%. Does 37.9% click-through rate out of 39,000 impressions. Also, it looks like uh, worldstar.com posted my video. So they took this clip, which gave it a lot more views, which is interesting. Yeah, it's just a video of her burping and farting at the same time. Uh, the top comment was like, uh, she was just taking a screenshot or something like that. It's pretty funny. Um, but watch time. Okay, so this watch time is over 100%. So this video is getting way more recommended by, and not only is the watch time over 100%, but the click-through rate is 37.9. So people are picking this one and clicking it and watching it all the way through more than once, which is sick. That is super sick. So that, and that, the, the algorithm is just pushing it out there. TikTok's the same way. When you make a TikTok video, they're measuring how long the viewers, because they swipe and the video starts playing, and then if they immediately swipe away, that marks against you. That that works against you, and uh, the algorithm is going to keep track of how many people are swiping away right away when when they serve it out to, you know, whichever people the AI thinks is best. Because they're, they're TikTok is trying to automate a lot of this stuff for you. YouTube, you kind of have to go in and look at all this stuff and make your videos around it. TikTok's trying to simplify all that, where just make it's all about making a good video. So. TikTok's click off time is about three seconds. Okay. Uh, most people are going to click off in the, actually it's the first second. So it's one second on TikTok. You ha that's how much time you have to get their attention. So in the first second, you need to be doing something. If it's like dead air, like it, like maybe it's pointing at something and you hear a fan in the background, like, eh, right. And it takes like a second before you start talking. Most people already swiped away. Because you didn't start talking right away. Hey, motherfuckers, this is this TikTok video, blah, blah, or whatever action. You just start with the action right away, and they won't click away. And that's what you're trying to achieve with videos is make a video that they don't click away from. So I'm really proud of this one uh, because with commentary and stuff, I reached 50% view duration, which is really hard to do. So, And then this one is just a, the raw clip, seven seconds. Um, I'm not as proud of it because that's just, it's so much easier to get view duration that way. But when you're actually making the content and shooting it, editing it, all that stuff, uh, and then there's the finished product and then you're reaching a 50% watch time, that I feel progress in myself in doing that. Um, all right, let's go. So we talked about the YouTube algorithm, the TikTok out of the algorithm. Let me just summarize that one more time. It's for YouTube, it's clickability and watch time. If your video sucks and they and they click away from it, then it's not going to get any views because anybody that watches it, they're going to be like, this video sucks. You may feel really proud about making your video. I've made hundreds of videos and there's been plenty of them where I'm like, this is a good one. And then I put it up there and nobody likes it. I'm watching, looking at the watch time and this tells you if they like it or not. You know, it really does. It. Uh, let me go to the engagement tab. This is, oh, this one's too new to look at it. All right, let me look at an older video. Um, let's go to, let's go to this one. I got 29,000 views on this one. Uh, let's go to the reach. No, we're going to the engagement. Here we go. So, uh, here's the engagement of this video. If you guys could see it has, uh, so it dips really hard right at the beginning because, um, for this particular video, people are just looking for the clip and I made my video searchable, which, uh, I guess we could talk about SEO next. So I used SEO. SEO tactics to make my video super searchable for this topic. And that's where I got a lot of my clicks. But when they find that it's some asshole wearing a beanie, making jokes and stuff, they skip ahead. So they try and skip to just the content. Um, however, one thing I really like is that I, I'm retaining them pretty good. They're dropping off slowly until the end of the video. 
But so they skip ahead. This is the biggest drop off port is the beginning. And then they just go right to the video. But after the video is done and I'm talking, I'm able to keep them there. So they've, the for this particular video, what it's telling me is I should have just started with the clip and then did all my talking, you know, or like talked for like two to three seconds and then showed the video just like really fast. You know, I should have been like, this bitch coughed on an Uber driver and is now going viral for being a huge cut. I can't say that because that's a bad word at the beginning, but I would say something like that. That's not bad words done and then show the video and then I can do all my commentary afterwards. That's what I learned from this video. So your data right here tells you um, information about your videos and you can look at it and be like, well, they didn't fucking like this part, did they? It It's telling you right there. It says it, you know, so it's not that bad. Uh, uh, like YouTube's not that bad. It's not that hard to, to kind of learn from it, it to make videos, making the good video is the hard part. That's the hardest part of all of this. So, um, all right, let's go with SEO. Let's start with SEO. So SEO is search engine optimization. That is how are people finding your video? So when I was designing this video, I remember what I did. I went, this is my, my, uh, tactic right here. I go to, I start off with Google search and I do, uh, cough on uber driver you know like i'll do something like that or yeah karen's cough on uber driver see it starts populating um results what did i pick i did uber driver pepper spray oh yeah so at the at the time it was uber uber driver i typed yeah i typed uber driver that's what i typed and then um pepper sprayed was like at the top at that point and i'm probably going to oh yeah now it dropped down so something to help my video is I could actually, I could change this now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to change it. Uber driver coughed on. And then I'm going to do uh, pepper. Or I'm just going to get rid of the pepper spray part. I think. Let me go to my analytics. So in analytics, under reach, we're going to look at the terms people are finding the video. Uber driver rude customers. Uber driver pepper sprayed. Uber driver coughed on. All right, I think I'm going to do Uber driver coughed on rude customer. Or I'll just do Uber driver coughed on by anti-mask Karen. Um, and then I'll just say at the end here, Uber driver, uh, I'm running out of space. Pepper sprayed. Let's see if I can just get away with that. Bam. And you, I also put, uh, uh, I should get rid of this part. This part's not going to help me. That's not in the search results at all. So you can see the search results. It's all based off of what's in your title. So the words and the phrases you put in your title are what's going to be there. That's what's going to be looked at by the algorithm when people are searching for stuff. Okay. So it's your, your title and your description, right? I think it's like the first 150 characters of your description. I think in your title, it's, uh, in theory, it's the first 40 characters, I think, is the way it's working, at least for shorts, from what I hear. Um, nobody knows for certain exactly what it is, but it, people used to say it was 60. So if your title is too long, then it could hurt you. But I don't believe that. I think that because if people are talking about the search results. So when we search, where's my search results? Here we go. When we search for stuff, uh, let's see if we can find one that cuts off. So... It, Everyone's doing pretty good. Like everyone in this, it has really short titles. See how short they are? They're not cutting off. Um, but, or on the homepage, actually, if we go to the homepage, um, look at this. See, here we go. So this one is a little bit long. It does the dot, dot, dot right here. This one has dot, 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 dot. So it cuts off. So it's actually this many characters right here. So this is the meta. This many characters before it goes dot, dot, dot is the sweet spot. That's where you want your most relevant things that you're putting in your title. Cause that's, that's what people are going to, uh, it's what they're searching for is what you're wanting to put in the title. So that's how SEO works. SEO is about, um, it's about putting stuff in your title that people are searching for. So it makes your video more discoverable and you have 60 characters. I think it's 60. I don't know the exact count, but I think it's around like right here to pull it off. And, um, it works. Okay. It works really well. Now let's, uh, let's see here. Let's go to the next thing. So we have, 
Uh, we talked about YouTube algorithm, TikTok algorithm, developing videos to suit said algorithm. We're kind of talking about that right now. Um, I'm kind of blending these things together, guys, so apologize. Uh, idea conception. Let's talk about that. So how do you make a video? How do you, like, pick a video that it, like, that is going to get a bunch of views? Um, that's actually pretty easy in my opinion. So I just go to, uh, I use Twitter and Google trends cause I'm trying to do like viral, like news. Like this one was, this one pissed everyone. I like doing videos on things that piss everyone off because it's so easy, right? I'm just, I'm picking the easy way out here. So I like to do commentary on like, so this bitch like was coughing on this guy because he, she, he wouldn't like do take her anywhere cause she wouldn't wear a mask. <clears throat> oh, my Xfinity tech is here. Um, I am going to, uh, I'm probably going to get a call from them here in a minute and I might have to end the lecture early. So I'm going to try and speed this up. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up. So how long have we been doing this? 20 minutes. I can wrap this up. So, uh, how do you d find a video that you want to do a topic on? Um, it depends on what you're going for. Okay. But a powerful tool is Google trends. Let's say, uh, you, like one thing that has been a huge trend lately is finance stuff because everyone's stuck at home from the quarantine. And because of that, everyone's been trying to figure out ways to make money at home. So searches for that have skyrocketed. So if you make videos talking about, here's how you make money from home, you're going to get a fuck ton of views and make a ton of money from it. Um, because it's skyrocketing and you can use a tool like trends.google.com, which is free. And you can, uh, use this to find stuff you want to make videos on. Um, I like to just go, I go to, oops, that's the explore page. I like to go to the, uh, well, let's screw it. Let's do the explore page. Um, no, actually I want to show you the trends, trending searches. So you can go to trending searches, you go real time and then select a category. I like to do like entertainment and just see what people are talking about right now, you know? So, uh, and then you could see the volume of searches for things. So, uh, if you make a video on Air Jordans right now, you're going to get a ton of views on that, you know, or here's another one, uh, Indian Idol. Okay. So here's like some stuff from India that's trending, um, Academy Awards, Batman DC. Oh yeah. B Batman stuff is blowing up because that movie just came out. The new, uh, Zack Snyder, uh, thing. Let's see here. Let's go, um, business. You know, let's say you wanted to make videos on business. McDonald's. Uh, oh, here we go. McDonald's downtown stabbing. So 12 year old boy stabbed in Liberty Avenue McDonald's. I mean, kind of shameless to make a video on a 12 year old getting stabbed. I personally, I would avoid it. But if I did make a video on this, uh, it's fucking blowing up right now. You can get so much views on a video. If you made a video about this subject, personally, I'm like, well, dude, there's a million other subjects to pick. I'm just going to avoid that one just out of, uh, my own morals. All right. No, 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 uh, judgment on anyone that would decide to do that. Just personally, I decide not to, I don't want to, I don't want to take it that far with like wanting to get views that bad. Um, but like, look at the, look at that skyrocket, right? Or here's do the, look at this one. Let's do the plant. Here's this fucking plant right here. Here's a plant. You make a video on this plant. You're going to get views. So you combine your SEO tactics with this trend with, uh, a good thumbnail and then a video and then you practice actually making the video. You edit the video to where they don't click away. They don't click away. They watch the whole thing. That's hard. So that takes a lot of practice. You just make a ton of videos and, and you and you try hard on it every time. And eventually you'll start getting better at it and you'll start holding people's attention. And that watch time when you're looking at your stats will start to go up. That watch time. Let's see, where's my watch time? Here we go. You know, here's my so this video is five minutes fifteen. I held them for two minutes. Not bad. You know? And then you can make some money. Like this video made sixty bucks so far. I don't have the past couple days of, of money, but this video made 60 bucks alone. It's not bad. It's a, it took me, it didn't take me long. It took me like an hour to make this. And then it just sat there. So now I basically made 60 bucks in one hour based off of this video. Um, let's see what else we got. Thumbnails and titles. We talked about that already. Uh, good videos versus bad videos. We kind of talked about that. A good video is a video that they watch. A bad video is one that they click away from. It's very simple. All this stuff is very simple. All right, the only thing I didn't really talk about yet is editing software. In my opinion, all of them work. Just pick one. It's like going between Crescent and and uh, Snap-on, you know? Like, who cares? Just pick one. It's a wrench. It, it, it turns bolts, 
okay? Just pick your tools. Anyone that says, oh, these tools are better than those tools, fuck that asshole, okay? Because he's being, like, an elitist or, like, gatekeeping, like, what what are the best tools or whatever, right? It's not about what tools you use. It's about how you use them. So you just pick any software. If you need, uh, if you need uh, something that's free, the one I recommend is DaVinci Resolve. They have the best free version. So if I have to pick one, it would be DaVinci Resolve based off of that. However, if you're going to buy them, I don't know what the price difference is between them all, honestly. I personally use 3D Vegas or uh, Sony Vegas because I've been using it for over 10 years. That's my reason. Okay, my uh, my guy is here for internet, so I'm going to take uh, quick questions while I answer the door. Or actually, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to wrap it up. If you guys have any questions, just DM them to me. But that's the lecture. We're just going to end it there, and uh, I'll do another one of these soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you.